Hi, this is Jay from MacGasm.net. In this screencast, we are going to take a look at some of the new features in Apple's latest version of iTunes, version 10. This major update not only brings us a brand new dock icon, as shown here, we also have access to Apple's new Ping social music network. So let's dive in and see what iTunes 10 is all about. As mentioned, the first thing you'll probably notice about iTunes 10 is the new dock icon. The CD is gone and it has been replaced by this beautiful glossy icon. And Apple didn't stop there with the aesthetics. The entire interface gets a new coat of paint. As you can see, this monotone color scheme helps put more focus on the content in your library. You may also notice the twirling arrows that allow you to show or hide your playlists and devices are now gone. Instead, when you hover over these category names, you will see an option to hide these items. Once hidden, hover over the category name again and you will see the show option. When it comes to viewing your albums in iTunes, in addition to the list, grid, and cover flow views, we now have Album List. With this new option selected, you will see each album's artwork to the left of the album's song list instead of showing a name of the album multiple times. One thing to remember is that this will only work with albums that have more than five songs. One of the more impressive new features of iTunes 10 is AirPlay. This will allow you to stream music and video to compatible devices on your Wi-Fi network. Click the AirPlay button at the bottom right corner of the window. You will see a list of devices you can stream to. Select the multiple speakers option to stream to more than one location at a time. One of the most hyped features available within iTunes 10 is Ping. This is Apple's entry into the world of social music. It allows you to follow your favorite artists and your friends who are also on the Ping network. To set up your Ping profile, from the iTunes Store, click Ping in the menu at the top of the window. You will then be prompted to turn Ping on. In order to use Ping, you must sign in with your Apple ID or create a new Apple ID. Ping will then provide you with a few simple fields to get your profile up and running. You will also be able to select some of your favorite music to share and edit privacy settings. Once you complete these options, your profile will be set up similar to this. Now you're ready to start looking for bands and friends on Ping to follow. To do this, click the People link under the Ping menu on the right. From here, I can find people I want to follow using the search box. From the results page, I can choose to view all of the results, only artists, or only people. Unfortunately, there is currently no way of connecting your Facebook or Twitter account to Ping. This means that for now, if you want to use Ping, it will be one more social network profile you have to maintain separately. Hopefully this will change soon, and Apple will allow us to connect to Facebook and Twitter to find our friends. I personally think Ping is going to be a great way to keep up with my favorite artists. I will be able to see some recent news, releases, and upcoming concert dates directly from the recent activity area within Ping. The other big announcement with iTunes 10 is TV rentals. You can rent individual episodes for 99 cents. Right now, only Fox and ABC have shows available for rent, but hopefully the other networks will follow. You will be able to watch these rented episodes on your Mac or PC, iPhone, iPod Touch, and the new Apple TV, and soon the iPad. Once you rent an episode, you have 30 days to start watching it. Once you start watching it, you have 48 hours to finish watching it. Unfortunately, those of us with older Apple TVs won't be able to rent episodes. Hopefully, Apple will change their tune, but for now, we will have to stick with purchasing episodes from iTunes. There is one more feature in iTunes 10 that isn't getting a whole lot of hype, and it is my personal favorite. When you are listening to music in iTunes, click the album artwork at the lower left of the window. In the past, this only showed you a larger view of the artwork. 
Now, this becomes a mini player of sorts that is similar to QuickTime 10. While your music is playing, hover over the artwork to see the player controls. iTunes 10 also brought us some less glamorous new features and fixes, such as improved syncing with iDevices. However, that about sums it up for the major changes in iTunes 10. So, what is your favorite new feature? What do you want to see in future updates? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, this is Jay for MacASM.net.